the Mill Matt Show with Mill Matt. We've got Resonator right here with us right now. <laughs> Dave and Opie. Howdy. <laughs> How are we going today, guys? Oh, we're doing pretty alright. Let's, let's talk about Resonator. How'd you guys all start? Um, well, it all well, goes way back. Uh, yeah, a fair while ago, back in high school. Basically, um, I just sort of wanted to start a band with um, my mates, uh, Leo Jacklin. Uh, pretty much, we just got together, um, started making a few riffs, and then decided to write some songs. Wanted to find a bassist, and uh, we got uh, our current singer, uh, Elias Aldrin Macbeth. Um, he um, started off as bass, but then he sort of switched over to vocals, and um, pretty much the three of us started really working on the, uh, the first Resonator song uh, together. And from there, we sort of um, really, really enjoyed what we were doing. And, uh, we started to you know, really stick with it. And um, we, we just sort of continued from there. Um, eventually, we found a drummer, a great drummer, a good friend of mine, Holly Smith, who um, eventually led on the But um, it happened. And uh, eventually, yeah, it has ended. And uh, yeah, and then we got OP. Um, OP said he wanted to. Um, we were inter interested in trying out you know, keyboards yeah. for um, for the band, you know, we could let it know and we thought, alright, we'll just give it a try. And, uh, yeah, that, that really sort of really helped to define um, the sound that we've got. Um, yeah, definitely indeed. And uh, we, we thought to ourselves, alright, yeah, that's that's really good, we're, we're really sort of pleased with that. And, uh, yeah, we got him then, our, um, Leo, the, which was the rhythm guitarist, uh, left because he had uh, other callings in life. Yeah, you'd say that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, no, he, um, he, he he sort of left, but we're you know, on good terms because you know, we, we all keep in touch with him. And uh, then uh, we, we got to our, our current rhythm guitarist, Christopher Rosiak. And uh, yeah, that's um, really, really good there. He works really well with us. Um, we, we give him the riff. He'll play it. We're all happy, uh, pretty much. But uh, yeah, and after that we got because um, Ollie, our drummer, left. We thought, all right, well now let's you know, find a drummer. And this was um, just after we recorded our EP, which was a while back now. It's um, pretty early June, but we finally yeah. got it out. Yeah, We're really happy. And uh, yeah, then. So what was the EP? Just uh, what's been the feedback so far from the EP? Have you got some good? We reaction so far are very positive. So yeah, we, we've positive actually stuff. we've got incredibly positive uh, feedback so far. We're, we're pretty stoked actually. Um, so far from uh, everyone that uh, you know that has sort of had a listen to it. Um, probably the, the, the worst um, thing we've really heard. It, you'd even say it's a, well to define it as negative uh, feedback is probably you know. Um, Maybe the uh, drums, snare, or something you know, hurting my ears with my sound system or whatever. They're just weak. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. But uh, yeah, but everyone's like. Death metal type of fuck yeah, exactly. yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you've got that. Probably, probably good. I don't know. Ninety-nine point eight percent um, of feedback's just all been positive. Um, just every it's it's been really good. I'm really happy with it. That's what bands have influenced. Um, both you guys, uh, that's, I guess, in life, musically, like what, what bands, or what, what sort of styles of bands, or whatever what bands have you brought to the, uh, well, um, to the band? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well uh, there's, there's been a. a well, well, one of my biggest influences with keyboards and stuff would yeah. be Dimmu Borgir. Mm. Yeah. Does it sound like what that? Oh, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, melodic death metal bands like Dark Tranquility. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, we, we, um, we, we listen to, we, we have, like, a huge range of bands that um, we sort of take in for like even if they you know, sound completely different from us. Um, like really, really old school sort of Lamb of God stuff like Burn the Priest. Yeah, you know, there's just a real huge range. Like, you know, we'll listen to thrash metal bands. You know, we, we, I'm a huge fan of Sodom, so, you know, we, we love, um, you know, not, not a lead, but, uh, you know, uh, just have just a huge um, range of stuff like that. Yeah, we we also love Mortal and you know, other bands like that. But uh, yeah, but the, the ones I've said, I guess they're probably um, the best example of like main influences for um, like guitar riffs and stuff. And then for you know songwriting, it's you know even more 
like the, 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 the list just sort of goes on, so to speak, I guess. Yeah. Oh, 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 um, you guys, I want to see what you guys are like. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, probably the best thing you'll probably expect to see um, watching us. I mean, I, I don't really watch us, but mm -hmm. see this guy acting like a dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jumping around, <laughs> lead typical lead guitarist in the room. But, oh, hell yeah. yeah, of course. But uh, but but seriously though, uh, probably probably the. Um, uh, I, I don't know, just a, a great show. People would really love their music that they play. They just really want to have a um, great time on stage. And you'll, just, you'll, you'll really sort of see that. You know, these musicians that are just really sort of in it for the fun. You know, they'll be playing, you know, they're not as loud as they are allowed, really. But uh, yeah, no, we, we just sort of, we, we get off the stage and we're all, you know, sort of psyched up, just ready to have fun. Just, just enjoy ourselves, really, and that's pretty much what you'll see. You'll just see, you know, entertainers just doing what they do naturally to entertain. So it's the future life for resonate, you guys. A couple years out of track, are there any plans for the band? Yeah, no, there's a few. Got a few albums already planned now. Yeah, you already got <laughs> we, we have, um, we have a couple of, um, yeah, yeah, yeah we, we got a couple of concept albums already, sort of figured out. Yeah. Sort of uh, over time, we're slowly writing them out um, as we sort of continue down the track as well. While we're also sort of working with um, other songs at the same time for our um, that, that we're sort of working on at the moment for say our first yeah. album when that comes out. But um, yeah, no, we we just sort of we we've just been working just pretty much that's all it's going to be to it really. We're just going to be hopefully doing more shows, Try to play as much as possible. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, sort of get the name out there as much as we can. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's pretty much more or less it, really. Yeah. We just we just want to play. We just want to get out there and just get have your fun. name out there. Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, for sure. Yeah. So if people want to contact you guys, find more about the band, hear some music or anything like that. You guys got MySpace page, Facebook page, yeah. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. On Twitter? Uh, we we don't have Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not uh, we're not that. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, you can find some of our songs on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Awesome. <laughs> hey, well, guys, that was um, Resonator. Look out for them. They're a cool band. Awesome guys too. Hey, hey, how hey. the fuck are you, mate? Check hey, this you fucking shit out, mate. Stay hey. fucking heavy. Hi there, and welcome to the Metal Man Nerd Review. I'm your host, Aaron Superman's Brown. This week, I'm reviewing No Strings Attached, the latest movie from Ivan Wright. You may remember him from such films as Ghostbusters, Strikes, and Evolution. Of late, he's done more movies like Old School and I Love You Man. Now, this latest movie is somewhat of a bit of a departure for the actors involved. You've got Natalie Portman who portrays Emma in the movie. And she co-stars with Astrid Kutcher, who plays Adam. Now these two have come together every now and then over the course of their lives, and almost hooked up, but never done. And then in the end, they both need a shovel of crime. So they decide that they're gonna be casual sex partners. Now everybody knows that in modern relationships, that's always a bit of a faux pas. And it never really works. And the eventual questions come up in the movies that can you remain friends when you're sleeping with each other? Well, this movie tests all those theories. You're looking at great performances from, from Natalie Portman, who this is the role that I, I've never seen her relax so much in a movie. She's usually such an uptight actress with, with such range and depth, but in this she's talking crass, you know, they're, they're swearing, she's so free. And basically, she's scarily clad for a lot of the movies, despite she's a fact, the, the, the fact that she's a doctor. Now, Ashton Kutcher, he's everything you, you, you come to expect from every one of these roles. He's a, he's a little bit on the thick side, very funny, very friendly, and again, he's not wearing much either. So, everybody's a little bit happy there. And you've also got great background characters. Kevin Klein makes a great turning act as, as the father of Adam in the movie who, halfway through the movie, starts dating Adam's uh, ex-girlfriend. 
which makes for hilarious times as well. Now Ivan Reitman's also preparing to do Ghostbusters 3 and he's even mentioned that Ashton Kutcher could be a perfect addition to the role of one of the future Ghostbusters. After watching him in this role, I, I can see him pulling this off and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to Natalie Portman pulling off the same kind of acting chops in the upcoming Thor movie later on this year. After all I've seen of this movie, I laughed all the way from beginning to end and there were some decent performances and I, I definitely found it to be far more enjoyable than even the trailers. So in closing, I think it's definitely worth going to see and yeah, three and a half stars. Just remember, cunt is spelt with a K. Two Ks for extra heaviness. That's only for sadistic people. This is Wayne Kevin from Lewisham, signing off.